Hey guys, uh, another video here. Um, I just wanted to do an update video on this uh, Aurora 90 build that I did and show you some stuff that I've changed and modified and um, how I did that. Uh, so the first thing I did um, was I uh, changed out the flight controller from the Pico BLX that I was using to this um, it's an Omnibus Beta Flight um, Micro. Uh, I got it off Bang It. I'll put the link uh, in the description. It, it, it's a good flight controller. It has a built-in OSD, buzzer, LED. Um, it works really well with Beta Flight. Uh, you get the... Um, you can uh, edit your adjustments. So, so it's very similar to the uh, board that's on the actual Aurora um, that you get the OSD with. Um, where you can edit, you can go and edit your PIDs, um, your settings on through beta flight, just through the OSD. Um, so, so on this board, um, I'm using a, a VTX-03 camera. And the VTX-03 basically just has this plug for power. Um, so you can't get the OSD with this camera unless you make some modifications to it. Um, so I'll show that in one second, but um, so let me show you some issues I had here uh, with this flight controller. Um, it uses these 2.5 uh, 2.5 uh, M 2.5 uh, nuts and standoffs. Um, the th I don't think the threes fit. Um, I tried them and they wouldn't. Um, and this frame also, this frame is what that I think those are what that comes with. But anyway, so one thing I did notice is um, right here next to this D the uh, DSMX port, um, you can't get a silicon nut on there. It, it, it hits. So I just left it off there. And then on the USB side, it hits as well, but I could get it down on there a little bit farther. So really, the, the two up here tighten down fully, but this one does not. Um, the other thing on this frame that I made a change to because I've had this happen twice now is if you crash and you have your you have your power wires coming out this bottom here off your ESC, which I guess you could have it come up over the top here, but then I'd be worried that it it, it might flop up into your propeller. So I had it run under here and I had several times where um, this would break off, like I would get in a crash and this would break off. So what I did was I just ran a zip tie around the power cable here. So now the, the tension point is on the zip tie, not on the pads. Um, and that'll definitely save your uh, ESC um, from getting busted um, or having the pad rip off or something like that. Um, that didn't happen to me, but I went ahead and made that change. The other change I made was I'm using this real tight rubber band um, to hold my battery. It works good enough. I mean, if you're in a big crash, your battery is going to come off. Um, but it works good enough. And what I did was before I put before I put the top frame back on, I pulled this around. And so the, the rubber band's on there like permanently unless you cut it off or take the frame off. Um, but let me switch back over here and show you um, what I had to do to get what I have to do. I, I'm in the process of doing it to get this camera this VTX, this is the VTX-03 to get this to work with uh, this flight controller and get the OSD since it's not wired um, to have OSD. So I don't know how well you can see it, but if you hold the camera like this, this, this pin on the bottom right here is going to be uh, the video in pin on the VTX. And the same pin straight across on the camera right here is going to be the uh, video out. So this is the video in on the VTX and video out. The problem is they have this bridge in there that has these two hooked together. Um, so what I did was I used this X-Acto knife um, and it came out pretty clean. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera here. Um, but you have to break that connection in order to solder on uh, your connect your wires. Um, so what I did was I took this this exacto knife and I heated it up as hot as I could get it and just it just kind of slides down and I kind of just kept heating it up and sliding it in between that pin until that pin was fully exposed because I didn't want to damage the rest of this because this gives support 
um, to the camera where the VTX and the camera are attached. So I don't want to take this entire piece out. I just want to get rid of this one pin. So I just kind of kept cutting at it with a super hot X-Acto knife, you know, heat off the stove until I got all that material, the plastic um, around that pin cleared out. And then I just use, you know, these, these tiny micro clippers and just pop, pop, clip the pin out. And so now um, what I need to do is on this board right next to the buzzer port um, right here are your vi the, uh, your video out and your video in pins. Uh, this is video out, this is video in. So I'll just tin those up, um, hook my video in to the VTX on this pin, hook my video out to the camera on this pin, and then run those, solder those to their two respective spots on this board. Um, and that's pretty much it, and I should have OSD. Uh, I'll show you the finished product and uh, show you a little flight demo uh, with the OSD and what it looks like through the uh, camera. Thanks. Okay, guys, so I got this uh, wired up. Um, so as you can see here, um, I have the this pin 7 down here removed, and I've soldered on this. All I had is some red and black wires, so I just used red and black. Um, I started on the red one here, which is going to be my video in. And I started on the black one here, which is going to be my video out from the camera. And then they just go to their respect, uh, respective spots on the board. Video in is the one inside. So that's the easy way to remember it. It's the one closest, you know, toward the inside of the board. Video out is the one toward the outside of the board. And basically just solder those on and plug your camera back into its 5-volt uh, power here and you ha should have OSD um, if you're using this Omnibus board with the built-in OSD. Um, I'll, show a, uh, I'll, I'll show some flight demo with the uh, OSD. Um. So now we'll switch over to Betaflight. Um, plug your quad in and then go down to other features um, and make sure your OSD is turned on here, save and reboot. And then um, if you want to display the, uh, on the OSD, if you want to display your craft name, uh, you need to have that set as well under uh, miscellaneous. Um, and then you, go, you can go down to OSD and basically whatever elements you want to display on your OSD screen, you can choose here, just turn on and off the ones you want. Um, and then you can just grab and drag and drop around um, on the screen here to lay it out however you'd like it laid out. Um, so I don't like things a lot of things up in my uh, field of view. Um, so I'll go ahead and move this down to the bottom. Uh, move that down. Kind of get that out of the way. Um, and then I have my craft name, my RSSI here, um, the crosshairs uh, in the center of the screen, and then your flight mode, uh, your current battery voltage, which is obviously the most useful um, out of all of this, I guess, um, and then your total flight time. Um, so that's it. That's the setup to use a, a TX-03 camera with the Omnibus uh, Betaflight Micro uh, F3 flight controller. Um, to get the OSD stuff to work. Um, so that's it. I hope this helps some of you guys. Thanks.